You wanna be on top? I am versatile, so I mean, this can go either way. I've been watching America's Next Top Model since cycle one. Over the years, it's really taught me to embrace my flaws. Well, I got a little emotional. I probably um, cried an ugly cry when I heard America's Next Top Model was ending. Tyra has built such a brand for herself that she was able to pass on the torch. I was shook when I heard it was Rita Ora because I thought it was so random. Isn't that that girl that um, sings Black Widow with Iggy Azalea? She is a business. I was getting good energy from her from the premiere. It's a total rebrand of the show. It was very high fashion and edgy. It felt very real. I'll just walk you through the episode and what caught my eye. First we have Marissa. Marissa's absolutely stunning. She's going far. She has a great presence. She's a great attitude. Very striking looking. Sassy real personality. I'm here for Miss Marissa, honey. Oh, and she had one of the best comp cards. Next we meet Binta, and she's absolutely stunning too. I'm like, damn, this cast is lit. Like, these girls are gorgeous. They said it on the show that she could do ad campaigns right now. A little super trailer part. Here, Binta stand up and yell, and she's like, bitch, I'ma kill you at the next photo shoot, doll. I was like, damn, Binta, she did that. I did not expect all that from her. So next is Justine. She's cute. She's 18. Her mom doesn't know that she's on America's Next Top Model. I love me a good rebel. I think she's gorgeous. I just don't see her making that part. So next we have Cherish. Hey Cherish, we're ginger sisters. She said she got um, bullied in school for being a redhead. She said sticks and stones may break your bones, but bitch, you don't even phase me. Oof! We need a fan for that one. Tatiana is stunning. She's exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for a brand, a boss. But she has her own company called Skin Butter. I feel like Tatiana's gonna win. Next we have Paige. Paige is cute, blonde, kind of basic. Next we meet the twins. If twins are in the house, there's gonna be drama. But if you mess with one twin, you mess with both twins. They have amazing skin, amazing collarbones. After meeting some of the girls, we get to finally meet the judges. Ashley Graham. Confidence, boldness, beauty. She's a bombshell. From first impressions, Ashley's definitely my favorite new judge. So next we have Drew Elliott, the creative director for Paper Magazine. A complete and utter bitch. I love me a uh, bitchy judge Kelly Catrone. I'm excited to see him drag a few of these girls. Final judge, La Roach, and he's a celebrity stylist. He seemed very nervous and hopefully he comes out of his shell and becomes a butterfly. We'll see. All right, so next, they go on the go-sees. I don't remember the one guy's name, but he was kind of rude. Okay, so we got Corey Ann. She's extremely versatile. Like, she had, like, big, poofy hair in some shots, but then in her confessional, she looked completely different. Next is Chris Leanne. I don't see a high fashion model. I could see maybe a commercial model or, like, Victoria's Secret model. India straight up looks like Gigi Hadid. I want something different. Then we meet Aryan. She had this amazing avatar braid. She was serving me Storm, Mutant, Next Level Avatar, Off This Planet, Venus, Icon, Princess, Queen, Will Slay Your Babies, and then you'll thank her. Sort of realness. And they were like, let's hone it down. Who do you? You wear what you want to wear. You look how you want to look. And don't let nobody dull your time because you're a star. That's what I have to say to her. So next we get to our lesbian show. I missed this in cycle five. Sarah and Kim giving me iconic limo makeout sash. I'm really excited at this point for Star and Kyle to make babies. Kyle is gender queer. You know, I'm all about bending gender roles. Fuck gender roles. Kyle's so hot, she makes me question my sexuality. I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. Call me. Now we get to some limo drama. We have meet Quay, and Quay has a lot of opinions. Oh, the twins' brand is boring. Courtney, who is stunning, Courtney basically says, it's not cool to talk about people like that. And then Quay's like, I'm gonna give you some water so you can water the Chia Pet eyebrows on your face. The shade was ecliptic. The shade. I think Courtney's eyebrows are gorgeous. I think Quay looked like a hater. So this is kind of sad because then Quay does her audition and she comes out as trans. And really trans are the most marginalized people. They're the most discriminated against people. Trans people are beautiful and trans lives matter. So then Courtney like starts talking about all of her obstacles in her audition. She's a very strong woman and I think she's stunning. And I think she's gonna go far. And so we got Gia, she's a country girl with big dreams. Hey Laura, she's really pretty. She's like, Y'all, I know what y'all did. Y'all did the damn thing and you inspired me. Literally, Ashley Graham's like, oh. Thank you. America's Next Top Model just left the room. 
I'm telling you, all you need to do is compliment a bitch and you got a modeling contract, next thing you know. Now it gets down to the final cut. Pretty much everybody I wanted to make it made it. But I was really sad that Aryan didn't make it. And I wanted Star to make it so we could have lesbian drama. But other than that, I mean, I'm really happy with the cast. My prediction for final four is Tatiana, Courtney, Corianne, and India. So that's not necessarily my favorites, but I think that's who the judges are gonna keep. I'm so open-minded. Any of you girls could still win me over. All absolutely stunning. This cast is amazing. It's so diverse. Stay tuned. I will be posting my review the day after the episode. I know I'm late this week because I'm a hot mess and I just am starting my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I love you.